Hey friends, and welcome to episode number six, where we're gonna learn how to affect our tracks in GarageBand. You see, we've been on a several week journey of learning how to use the basics of GarageBand to write, record, use its software instruments, some of its powerful writing tools like the Session Drummer, and we've learned how to do some basics, some advanced editing, as well as how to use Auto-Tune. So if you miss any of episodes one through five, you'll definitely wanna go back and check those out. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's not even hard. So enough talking about it, let's dive into this week's episode on using track effects in GarageBand. This is where we gently affect each track to give it a little bit more color. It's kind of like the icing on the cake, but even more subtle. It just adds a nice, clean, polished touch to your song. And it helps take it out of sounding like it was in your bedroom and more like it was in a studio. Now again, we're gonna make this really simple to understand, so don't be alarmed. In GarageBand, you can affect tracks one of two ways. You can do it manually, or you can use some of their one-click presets and make it really easy. We're gonna look at the presets first. After highlighting a track, I can go over to the library and search for all kinds of different presets. In this case, I'm playing an acoustic guitar, so I'm gonna choose an acoustic guitar preset. Now, I'll click through a few presets, and I want you to listen to the difference that it makes. Some add a lot of reverb. Some add brightness to it. This one adds a chorusy twang effect, but I'm going to land on the natural stereo preset. I'm liking the way that sounds. So I'll bring it into context with my mix and give it a listen. My first song in Garage Band. Mm -mm, and I'm excited. So let's move on to vocals now. I'm going to solo the track again for our purposes and try a few presets. This is my first song in Garage Band. Mm -mm, and I'm excited now. This is my first song. Again, some add a lot of reverb. Some do a lot of compression on the vocal. Some are more dramatic than others. You can even do crazy experimental presets. I don't sound too bad as a chickmunk. Mm -hmm. I'm excited but I think now. after listening, I'm going to try the tracking song. vocal preset. In garage band. Mm -hmm. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and affect my background now. track my with the same song. preset. In garage band. Mm -hmm. and I'm excited now. All right, I'm liking it. It's adding some subtle color to my mix. In if you're an experienced mixer and you want to shape your own sound, you have all the tools you need to do it. Simply highlight your track and click on the Smart Tool. This will bring up your mix window where you have the power to shape your sound any way you want to. You can adjust standard controls like compression and reverb using the knobs, and you have access to multiband EQ. More than that, you have a plugins menu where you can adjust the order of your plugins within your signal chain, where you can add plugins to that signal chain, and you can click on a specific plugin and adjust its parameters. I show you this because many people are unaware of the mixing capabilities that GarageBand has. They assume you have to buy a several hundred dollar program like Logic or Pro Tools to get a great mix, and that's just not the case. Now for those of you who were completely intimidated by the last 60 seconds, don't be afraid. I'm just showing what's available in GarageBand. Go back to those one-click presets, find something that works for your song, and it will sound great. The last thing we'll talk about in this video is affecting your MIDI tracks. You can adjust the parameters of your MIDI tracks just like you can any audio track by clicking on the Smart Tool. Here you can adjust specific parameters of your highlighted instrument. Band. 
Now, MIDI instruments do come pre-affected and they already sound great, so there's no real reason to change them unless you're going for a dramatic effect on a specific instrument. So now that we've affected our tracks, let's take a listen to the before and after and see what we've done. This is my first song in GarageBand mm -mm, And I'm excited now This is my first song in GarageBand mm -mm, And I'm excited now Now again, these aren't life-changing adjustments that we're making, but that's mixing. It's lots of little moves that add up to become one big move in the end. To keep up with weekly content from here at the Songwriting Studio, simply go to thesongwritingstudio.com and enter your email address.